Yo, what's up guys? It's Theo here. Welcome to your second lesson of Learn HTML and CSS. This will be part two. So let's click resume and let's carry on with uh, our progress. So uh, let me refresh this page real quick. Click on resume. And let's see. All right, so let's go now into, uh, we're gonna go into HTML content, common HTML elements. And let's see if we can get there. All right, cool. And just to let you know, this has 15. So let's get started. Uh, so it says, take a look at the code in index.html. What new code do you see? So uh, we see an h1, which is a header. A p is a paragraph. An a, a href is a link. Uh, ul is an un unordered list. And li is a list item. Um, and uh, image tag. So lots of new tags, guys. Pretty cool. We're going to see all these things along the way. All right, so next up, uh, add an h1 heading inside of the body. So h1 is the biggest heading. You can do h1 through h6, and they progressively decrease in font size uh, as you go. So we're going to type in the brown bear, and let's run that and see what that gives us. Cool, so that's the biggest you can get. And all that means is behind the scenes, we'll learn later, the CSS for that, it has the lar largest font size. All right, so next up, we have a paragraph, so you can sort of see that same styling. You have your opening tag, you have your content, and you have your closing tag. So after the H1, H1 uh, heading, add a paragraph that contains the following text. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, let's clear some space right here. And let's go ahead and take this, let's nest this right in between here. And maybe I'll just, uh, I'm just gonna tab that over. All this stuff over just to make it look a little better, and uh, I guess I don't really need to do that, but whatever. And uh, let's this last one over, awesome. So let's run that. We sort of see we have our paragraph styled more, and uh, you know, it's containing the width and it's wrapping the lines. All right, uh, next up we have our UL and LR. I told you guys that UL is an unordered list, there's also an OL for ordered list. So it says add another paragraph after the first paragraph. All right, so it says the new paragraph should say, um, and let's grab that text. Let's take that, let's run this, and under the new paragraph, create an unordered list. Okay, so let's create a UL, and inside of this UL, well, let's run this code first. So we want to add the following list items to the unordered list. So we want li, and uh, let's go ahead and paste this four times. So we're gonna want four list elements. And then we want uh, Arctos, Polaris, Horribilis, uh, and we want Nelsoni extinct. So let's go ahead and run that. Let's see what that gives us. Cool, we have our list with the bullet points. Uh, next up, we're going to do an ordered list. So this will just show it in one, two, and three instead of the bullets. So let's so add another paragraph after the unordered list. Let's go ahead and add that. And uh, inside of here, we're just going to put this. The following countries have the largest populations of brown bears. And uh, let's go ahead and run that. And we, now we want to create an ordered list. So we're going to do OL. Okay. Close that off, and we're not going to add any list elements yet. Now we want to add the following list items. So we're going to do li, and I'm just going to copy and paste this three times. One, two, and three. And we're going to do Russia, uh, United States, and finally we are going to do Canada. Click and run this, so we have one, two, three, like I said. Uh, next up, guys. Uh, so it just says, after the first paragraph, I add a link that says, learn more. So we do this by saying, a hey, href. We're not going to fill that in, but that's going to be where the link is going to go. And we're just going to put learn more. All right. And so we have this link, right? But it's not going anywhere. Uh, so we, now we want to add the following URL to it. So let me take this back, href. And so it's going to go to this link when you click on it. And uh, we're just gonna put learn more again. And now, I'll show you guys, if you hover under it, 
or over it in the you know left hand corner right right down here uh, you're gonna see the Wikipedia page so cool uh, next one up guys um, we need to add target attribute set equal to blank so an attribute is just a property that an element has in this case the link has one that says target and blank what this means is when we click on this I'll show you guys when we click on this um, this will well, in a normal browser, it would leave this web page open and it would allow you to, uh, it would just open up a new tab for you. So that's all it does. Uh, next up, below the ordered list, add an image. Okay, so we're gonna say image and we're gonna say source, because source is where it's getting its uh, source from. And close that off. Uh, so if you wanna close off a tag, there's a lot of self-closing tags, like, like an image. And you can do that by doing sort of slash as if you were closing a normal tab. Let's go ahead and put this JPEG in here. As long as this resolves to a JPEG or a PNG or an image file, it will load it. Uh, next up, add the alt attribute to the image. So all this does is, uh, let me go ahead and put this back in here. Um, okay, so I don't know what happened to mine, but we're just gonna say alt you know, we're just going to change it to whatever it might be. So you can sort of see, because there's no image available, this is the text that's going to show up. And last one, guys, um, because I'm going to uh, finish up the, well, I guess we'll just finish it up in here. So transform the image on your page into a link by wrapping the image in an href. So now we want to wrap a link around it, okay? And what we're going to give it is, we're going to give it this. As the link, and we're gonna go to target a blank, which will open it in a new tab, and then we're gonna close it after the image, okay? And we can also indent that a little bit. Now, if we run this, you can sort of see we have the brown bear, and we can actually click on it, and it will open it up. All right, so the next one we have white space. Uh, place your cursor directly after the closing tag of the ordered list, okay? Press the enter. Notice that there's no change in the positioning of the elements. White space is meant to increase code readability. So just because I do this and move everything down a lot, it doesn't actually mean that anything on my page is going to move down. So that's what CSS cast cascading style sheets is about. We're going to learn that eventually. So in index.html to, to add line breaks, we're going to add a line break after the word populations in the third paragraph of the page. Okay, so where is that? In the third paragraph, uh, I'm not seeing population. Let me see. Uh, mm, not seeing that. Let me go ahead and reset this code. Reset exercise. Not seeing that, but let me just try and show you guys if I just put a line break in in general. I don't know if it'll like that. All right. Uh, so what that did, guys, after least concern, it broke the line. You sort of see it moved it down, and if we were to put another one in there, it would actually break it down even more. So uh, go ahead and delete the line break because it, you know, it doesn't really make it any neater. And cool, clean that up. Next up, indentation. Like I was trying to explain to you guys, everything needs to be indented nicely to sort of uh, to demonstrate the hierarchy of your code. So because the HTML is the top level element. Everything inside of here should be indented over one, and so on. So you can sort of see that cascading hierarchy of structure. Awesome. Next up, we have comments. Uh, we have the two different kind, kinds of comments. This is a sort of multi-line comment uh, right here. And the next one, guys, is, yeah, just showing these comments. You can also do a comment with a slash slash. Well, no, I don't mind this JavaScript. So HTML comment is like this with the exclamation mark. So add a comment anywhere in index.html. So we're just going to say, uh, we're just going to change this to hello world. You can sort of see that this is commented out. It will not run. Awesome. And finally, last up, guys, just review what we've learned. We've learned the headings, the unordered list, the list, the ordered list, list, L, uh, list items, the uh, hrefs, the links, the images, the source, uh, the alt alternative text, uh, white space, uh, indentation, and the comments. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed part two of HTML and CSS. I'll catch you in part three. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like, comment, and please subscribe and support this channel. It means a lot. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.